Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Here is a great question that was sent in at the Power Analyst Bootcamp on the VBA day. Uh, someone there had a worksheet, 750 rows of data in the worksheet, and up here they had some nice controls where they could choose which regions uh, to do and everything. And we came down to a monster formula in column H that looked at all those controls, looked at the values over here, and chose whether or not we wanted to hide that row or keep that row. Now I've dramatically simplified that calculation. I just looked at one thing. I didn't want to rebuild all the controls because we're not talking about the controls here. And then what they had was they had a loop in VBA. It said for I equals 10 to 750. So from their headings down to the last row, check to see if the eighth column is equal to hide. And if it is, then we're going to hide that row. And what was happening is because we had things outside of that range that were looking at just the visible rows, for example, maybe the subtotal uh, command, it was taking a while for that solution to run. Uh, in their I mean, you can watch it here. In their particular case, it was taking minutes uh, for that whole solution to go through and selectively hide or unhide. And we tried things like application.screen updating equals false. We tried turning off calculation but it was still taking a reasonably long amount of time to go through and do that. I said, okay, well, so you have hide and keep, and I initially tried to auto filter, but unfortunately when you turn off the auto filter, then everything that you hid or unhid uh, get, you know, it, it doesn't work. And so I said, we're going to edit that formula and we're going to change the, the keep portion to a number. All right. Now, why did I want to do that? Why did I want to go with a number here? Let's stop this. All right, so we came back to our formula and I said, we're going to edit that formula and change the uh, the keep to a number. And copy that down. And then I was interested in recording one tiny little bit of code. So I turn on the macro recorder. How to show text and then use go to control G special and we want only the formulas that evaluate to text click OK all right we can stop recording go look at that code and see what we have so we'll come here the recorded code of course goes to module 2 special cells Excel cell type formulas comma 2 is the way to get only the uh, values that contain text all right so we'll come back to our faster way and I'll paste that in. I'll say range H10 colon H750 dot special cells. And when we get those cells, we want to do dot entire row dot hidden is equal to true. So it takes that big long loop that has to go through 740 different times each time looking at a value, maybe deciding to hide or not hide. And check this out what it does. Alt F8 choose faster solution click run and bam just like that uh, in one second it goes through and keeps just the values that we don't want to hide uh, so uh, very cool there instead of using a loop we're able to change the formula just a bit and in fact this column was hidden in her uh, workbook so no one even gets to see whether there's values there or whatever and then by using special cells go to special uh, we're able to, to create a loop that runs much, much faster. So I know a lot of times uh, as I'm teaching people VBA, we talk about loops as the way to go. Uh, and that's fine if the loop is running fast, but when we get to the point where the loop is actually taking a lot of time, then using special cells here was a uh, very clever way to solve that problem. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.